In this video, I will show you how to use the Kestrel 4000 weather meter. The Kestrel measures various weather-related parameters, including wind speed, temperature, humidity, wind chill, dew point, and others. It is powered on by pressing this button. Always make sure to check the battery level before going out into the field. If you are having difficulty seeing the screen, you can press this button here to turn on the backlight. Before taking measurements, you can clear previously stored data by pressing the red button, selecting memory options, and then selecting clear log. You'll see that saying wait, and we want to wait until it says done. At the bottom of the screen here, there's store rate, which indicates how often data is stored. We usually have this set at five seconds, but you can adjust this by using the side arrows. And then we can exit this screen by pressing the red button. And anytime you want to store new data, you can press this camera button here. These arrow buttons allow us to navigate between screens. First here, we have the main screen with the date, and then by scrolling up and down, we can view different measurements such as wind speed, temperature, wind chill, and humidity. If there's a parameter that you want to measure that you don't see here, you can press the red button, go to measurements, and then you can see all the different measurements that you can toggle on and off with the side arrows. And then when you exit back to the main screen, it will show up here. Scrolling using the side arrows changes the mode for each measurement, and there are three different modes. First, we have the current reading, such as for wind speed. This is the value at this moment because there is no wind right now. And by clicking the side arrow, we get to the next mode, which is min, max, and average. To calculate the min, max, and average for wind speed, we want to hold the kestrel at arm's length away from our body, perpendicular to the wind and we also want to remove the impeller cover. You can then press the center button to start, and then you want to count 30 seconds, and after 30 seconds, you can press the center button again to stop it. And then you can put the impeller cover back on. As you can see, our values are zero because there's no wind in here. And you can also scroll up and down to view the values for the other parameters while you are counting those 30 seconds. If you want to store this data, you can press the camera button. If not, you can also clear it. The third mode is a chart display of stored data points, which is blank because we previously cleared the stored data on the Kestrel. If you want to change the unit of measurement for any of these parameters, we can press the red button, scroll down to units, and then you can use the side arrows to change the unit of measurement. When you're done using the Kestrel, you can press the red button and select off. 